Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Bros here with the fourth episode of the Solo Sensation series. Uh, the weekly update. I try to drop one of these a week. And uh, you guys are so incredible for supporting this. Sorry, I had a moment of silence for that guy. Um, but anyway, the first thing that I want to get into in this video is shotguns. I want you guys to watch this guy right here. This is basically Cop in a Nutshell. Guys with a shoddy out just trying to, you know, do whatever they can to get in your face. As you guys know, I main sniper. You can see that I hit a snipe there. I, I definitely am a sniper at heart, and I love sniping. I've been a sniper since D1. Everyone that really watches me knows that I main sniper. Um, but if you watch the other episodes, you know that sometimes sniper is just impossible to use in comp. Especially while being a solo player, you have to use shoddy. But I use sniper a lot um, in the beginning part of the stream in this day that, uh, you know, I pop back in comp solo going for Luna's half. And as you can see here, my snipes are not too shabby. So I'm 20 headshots away from Luna's half at the start of the stream, guys. And so I can practically taste the Luna's half. I'm still using Ace of Spades, which, by the way, I want to say that I don't recommend because the higher you get, the more 180s. You see 180s, uh, round per minute hand cannons are definitely meta. Ace of Spades is incredible. I love it, but it just cannot compete with a good Trust shot or a good Luna's Howl shot for sure because they shoot so fast, they're so stable, and they kill so fast. Now, if you have a Mento more, you could probably hang, but you have to get that kill reload and have the extra damage bullets. You don't want to rely on those too much. So I would say to anybody looking for a tip how to get Luna's Howl on um, the Precision Kills has, uh, step, do not use um, Ace of Spades like I did. I think it took me a lot longer because I was using Ace of Spades, honestly, against a lot of 180s. Um, so this was my first game of the day. We got absolutely obliterated, but I had a 4.75, 3,700 damage, 19 eliminations. I had a great game to start out with while using snipers against a bunch of apes, but my teammates just were not good enough unfortunately it happens i couldn't carry them now here is the next game and this was one of the more hype moments of the stream hype moments of the day so i'm just going to be quiet and let you all watch this one opponent standing. One minute remaining. Show them what it means to attack. Charge set. Now to battle. <laughs> no one left to fight in your place. So fight. <laughs> So as you can see there, I was in a 1v1 versus a guy with rockets and the infamous Telesto and outplayed him with a sniper. The chat got really hyped. I felt really good. I was definitely up saying, fuck Telesto. Um, but it was definitely a great moment for the stream. And uh, I felt really good inside outplaying a Telesto, seeing as how much I died to Telesto, especially with a sniper. Uh, now this right here is something that I really, really need to talk about in this video. As you can see, there's only two people on the left side. Of course, that's my team. For some reason, in comp, I load into so many comp games and there's a one person missing or two people missing and sometimes even three people missing. I have literally loaded into a 1v4 before. This needs to be addressed. By, and what sucked the most is most of my teammates are pretty bad uh, on a regular basis, but this guy was actually decent the guy that i got stuck in a 2v4 with but we had no chance we fought our hardest but we you know we really had no chance it's control they triple capped us the entire time they get three kills every time we die and we get one kill or one point every time we get a kill if it was clash me and the guy might have actually had a chance um, and here you can see me i got these guys are just aping and using heavy so i got frustrated and i put on a shotgun now, I knew this wasn't going to make me win or anything, but I just had something to prove like that right there. Fuck your Ward Cliff Coil, man. I, I was Ward Cliff Coiled at least 10 times this game. 
which is just absolutely insane because you know we couldn't get near anywhere near heavy because they had map control and triple capped and, and you know spawn trapping us it's just the worst but as you can see i'm running away from a super and shotgunning his homie i felt really good to uh, run around with the shotty and do this to these guys and of course the good old telesto is never more than one or two steps away guys don't ever forget that now here is another time that i outplayed the guy with the work of the core like these guys were crutching telesto and heavy so much that it made me sick uh, but look at this look at the outplay feels really good and then the AI tried to supernova me just all the one shot mechanics these guys crutched um, of course I was extremely salty that these guys just work live coiled and telestoed me the entire time in a 2v4 now as you can see here the slang isn't too off we could have probably outslayed these guys in clash but I guess we will never know Control. on to the very next game though what do you see a 3v4 so I went from a 2v4 to a 3v4 and it's not a 2v4 or 3v4 because someone quit I'm spawning into these games under man and I understand that some of my teammates won't be the greatest and maybe carries but to not even give me a full team is ridiculous um, I don't know how many of you guys are going through this and, and you know, drop in the comments and let me know how many of you all go through this uh, I know Running with a full team avoid, you know, is a way to avoid this, but clearly I'm on a solo journey. It's just really unfortunate that I don't even get a fair shot at some of these games. Like, being loaded into a 2v4 or 3v4 is really demoralizing. You know, it sucks. But before I rant anymore, I have a huge surprise for you guys. Check this out. What is this? What the fuck? <laughs> so we get a. <laughs> I, uh, I swear to God, I'm gonna switch games if this keeps happening. I'm not gonna sit here and play this. If I mean, this is gonna be a dub. Clearly, we're gonna beat the fuck out of this guy. But uh, are you serious? Like, what is this, man? Bro, I, I just got out of a two v four, lost. I just got out of a three v four. The very next game, now I'm in a two v one. <laughs> what? You captured zone B. Get the fuck Don't down, dog. Yo, I'm asleep, man. So, as you can see, that was a surprise. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so I had three games in a row, or four games in a row, or something like that. I think I didn't record one of them. Where it was, it just wasn't four v four, which is ridiculous. Like, there's got to be something Bungie could do. Like Overwatch, if you launch into a comp game and somebody leaves in the beginning or there's somebody missing it sends everybody back it resets the queue and you don't lose points unless you're the person that's missing that's that needs to be implemented because i've taken so many losses by getting bungled or somebody getting air code or somebody quitting or just somebody not being loaded i don't know what it is i don't know what the reasoning is but it's got to be something's got to be done so bungie please 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 do something about that in comp because every game should be a fair fight in my opinion now here we have the two most important hand cannon kills of the entire video uh that one being a precision kill giving me memento mori and this one being a crispy crispy three tap for the final luna's how kill which you know the journey was was for luna's how solo and that was the end of it Uh, we got Luna's. I'm excited at all because. Oh! So here you have it, guys. Me pulling up to Shacks to get my Luna's how that I earned all by myself. It was definitely a good feeling. If you follow me on Twitch or Twitter or, or Instagram, I'll put, I put it up, you know, on my social networks that I got it solo. So you're about a week late. Uh, but it takes time to make this video. It takes a lot of time, actually. Um, so, you, you know, if you're watching on YouTube the first time, you're a little bit behind. But that's okay. Because you're still getting a journey. Either way, you're getting a detailed conversation about a journey and all of that. So here is me shadering up my Luna's How. I ended up settling on a Dead Orbit shader. I didn't do that in the video. In the video, I didn't like any of these shaders at first. So I just kept it the way that it came. But uh, later on, I ended up putting a dead orbit shader on it so it's like basically all black with a little bit of white in it looks pretty awesome now the next video 
or the next clip in the video is going to be my first game with Lunas Howe, and I actually played some sweats. I played some guys with Not Forgotten, which is ridiculous. Um, nothing too crazy. I started out trying to snipe, of course, but there was like two guys on the team who literally only use shotgun. You'll see that, and then you'll see me switch to shoddy, and then you'll see what the outcome was. So I'm just going to let you, let you uh, watch how this plays out, guys. Three shotgun kills. Opposite joke, man. Scenario. Shot. Your opponents are pulling away. <laughs> like every look at this look at this shit got to use him. The way these play. Wow. Give us a review in a little. Easy claps, bro. Oh wait, we already got B. This gun is fucking disgusting. What the fuck? This kid, that's all he does, man. That's all this kid does, bro. Hunters like you blaze the path for the rest of us. Down. A victory well hey. executed. Apparently I just gotta be a shotgun user dog. Like this just is what it is, homies. Shh. Big homies. It feels bad though. Honestly feels bad. I'm excited. I was really excited to be a Luna's house sniper. I guess I'll be that in in, in pubs. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys can see, my first game with Luna's How was against some not forgotten tryhards and it was actually a comeback win which felt amazing now here is the next game uh, this is another sad story uh, they came down to a guy quitting on me when we were up in the game now he was having a very very bad game uh, but that that gives you no excuse to quit we would have actually won if he stayed in the game so i got really really upset um, i carried these guys really hard all game uh, my three blueberries they were having you know below average games to say the least um but at least they well two of them didn't quit one of them did though you'll see it here in this clip coming up if you read the screen now he's war clip coiled and then has departed the match so that was really unfortunate we're up three two we have two supers and you got your panties in a bunch because you're getting war clip coiled that's you know comp i it upsets me too man but you can't you shouldn't just quit a game like that. Now, to be fair, maybe he raged so hard that he threw his entire PlayStation and it unplugged. Who knows? And he didn't really actually mean to quit. Matter. Doesn't even do not please for the love of God don't use your super. Please, I'm begging them for super. Oh, why, bro? Why? Just why? Why? Seriously, man. Why? What? Come on, man. Why, bro? I kn I knew I should have supered, man. I should have supered middle. I knew it. I knew it. I should have just took my. I should have tried to go for it. Then we were in a situation where coward ass play. New game where we're up. God, what the fuck ever, bro? Why would that man quit on us? What?
Those kind of guys need to be perma banned from comp, man. Like, if you can't take it. So yeah, guys, as you can see there, everything just fell apart after the guy quit, and we ended up losing the game even after having a big lead and having supers. Just really unfortunate. One minute. But that basically concludes the video. I got Lunas How solo, which was amazing. An amazing, fun experience. It took me about 19 hours, roughly, guys, if anyone wants to know. Um, definitely easier than the Regix Claymore journey. Comp was different back then. You lost more points for losses. You could go on lost streaks, stuff like that. They changed that, about, uh, changed that up. The only thing about this quest that's harder is that it's actually a quest. Regix was just hit 2100. This is a little bit more tedious having to get headshots, solar kills, stuff like that. But overall, it's definitely easy to register Claymore. It's obtainable solo or with a team by a lot of the community. You just got to be a decent player and be willing to put the time in. That was me going for the 1v8 clutch, but falling short because I ran out of shotgun ammo. And you can hear the rage in the back. But I got about four or five of them. So that was pretty dope. Um. <laughs> here's chaos reach don't use that in comp but anyway back to the point the journey was amazing guys the support from you all was amazing solo sensation was a hit i plan on doing this every comp season um because i'm always looking for new things you know new ways to make my channel grow and i saw an, you know i saw an opportunity with comp where i could do something that most people weren't doing and i really 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 enjoyed it and you guys love it or a lot of people come and tell me they love it and they want more of it. So I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, I'm always, like I say, looking for new ideas. Trying to be innovative on YouTube. With like, you know, with the Clutch God and the comebacks. Uh, I definitely started all those things on YouTube. And now here's another thing that I can say that I started under my belt. Is the solo comp, you know, display. A bunch of people have come to me. YouTubers, streamers smaller ones nobody huge or anything like that and told me that i inspired them to do this solo so shout out to everybody that you know that has followed my journey from the redrick's days and has carried on and wanted to challenge themselves congratulations to everybody who has the lunas how it's a damn good gun i love it and i'm hoping that i can get not forgotten and i'm going for it solo so be on the lookout this series is not over yet Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And make sure to join my Discord. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all those places. Please, guys. I'd appreciate it. Love you all. Catch it's the last time. game? Yeah, it's the last game. I try to hit my six-hour stream mark. Get some Dancing on that warlock, man. Yo, see your butt. I thought I could bait him and, and live. I couldn't live though.